Today is August 20th. It's the 233rd day of the year, and this is the On This Day podcast. Today is World Mosquito Day, commemorating the day in 1897 when Dr. Ronald Ross of British India discovers that the female mosquito transmits the infectious disease malaria. After making his discovery on this day in 1897, Dr. Ross makes the declaration himself that this day, August 20th, shall be known as World Mosquito Day. I didn't know you could do that. Mosquitoes are annoying. They bite you. Their saliva causes an itchy red hive that makes you want to scratch the bejesus out of it. And a mosquito bite can even be more serious than that, as Dr. Ross discovers. Not only can mosquitoes transmit malaria, but they can also pass along West Nile virus, dengue fever, yellow fever, encephalitis, and a whole host of other diseases. And since 2007, the mosquito has also started transmitting Zika fever, which in the past 10 years has spread along the equator and now is beginning to move towards the poles, courtesy of that little bugger the mosquito. According to medical educational publisher EB Medicine, 700 million people are infected with some sort of mosquito-borne illness every year. According to the World Health Organization, Mosquito bites result in more than 1 million deaths each year. And according to Bill Gates, the mosquito is the deadliest animal in the world. World Mosquito Day is usually observed by spraying yourself thoroughly with insect repellent and patching those holes in your window screens. So watch out on this World Mosquito Day. Today is also On This Day Podcast Day first observed in 2016 because I declare it so, now that I know you can do that. On This Day Podcast Day is usually observed by listening to the August 20th episode of the On This Day Podcast. You can also celebrate On This Day Podcast Day by hugging a potato. That's a callback. So happy On This Day Podcast Day. On this day in 1938, Lou Gehrig, hits his record 23rd career Grand Slam. His record stands for 75 years until 2013, when it's broken by another New York Yankee, Alex Rodriguez. In 1938, the Yankees are playing the Philadelphia Athletics in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on this day. It's the first inning and bases are loaded when Lou Gehrig, the Iron Man of Baseball steps up to the plate and knocks it out of the park off a pitch by Buck Ross. Lou Gehrig is born in 1903 in New York City to German immigrants. He is the second of four children, but he's the only one who survives beyond infancy. Gehrig excels at sports, particularly baseball, which he plays in high school, along with soccer and football. His high school baseball team travels to Chicago to play in the 1920 National Championship, and the 17-year-old Gehrig stuns the crowd of thousands watching the championship game at Wrigley Field when he hits a grand slam out of the Major League Park. Three years later in 1923, he makes his debut with the Yankees, and it's the start of a record-setting career. In 1934, Gehrig suffers a lumbago attack. It's a throbbing chill in his back, and he has to be helped off the field. It is the first symptom of the disease that will take his life before too long. Partway through the 1938 baseball season, he starts to feel sluggish and tired. I just couldn't get going, he says. He begins experiencing the symptoms in full of the disease that will be named after him. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. We know about ALS these days because a lot of people dumped buckets of ice water over their heads a couple years ago and posted videos about it online. It's a motor neuron disease that destroys a person's central nervous system. And in 1938, the same year Lou Gehrig hits his record-setting 23rd Grand Slam on this day, 
his motor functions begin to rapidly deteriorate, and he experiences increasing paralysis. Early in the 1939 season, Gehrig travels to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and is diagnosed with ALS. Shortly thereafter, his diagnosis is made public, along with the announcement of his retirement from the Yankees and from professional baseball. Lou Gehrig sets a number of records that stand for years, decades even, like the most consecutive games played, 2,130, a record held until it's surpassed by Cal Ripken Jr. in 1995, and the record Lou Gehrig sets on this day in 1938, 23 career Grand Slams, a record held for 75 years. On Independence Day in 1939, Lou Gehrig makes his legendary farewell speech to a sold-out crowd at Yankee Stadium. He passes away two years later in 1941, at the age of 37. For the past two weeks, you've been reading about a bad brag. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. There are 133 days left in the year. On This Day is produced by me, Dave Schultz. Thank you very much for listening. 